Hi again. Uh, I'd like to continue talking about circles and you know placing objects on the screen using you know circular math, right? Um, in the last video, I kind of went over the um, the math of the circle. I'll go over it again really quick here. I added actually some notes to make this last slide look a little better, but. Uh, you know, essentially a circle is, you know, a lot of times we think of it as 360 degrees. Um, we can also, and on the computer, this happens a lot, um, look at a circle in radians, and radians are 2 pi. So 2 pi sounds a little abstract. Um, really, we can think about it as 6.28, right? So that's 2 times pi. Um, you know, if we want to find a location on the screen, you know, essentially converting... Um, radians to an angle and then finding you know something out at the radius of that angle we can take the radian value plug it into sine to get the x and then take the same value and plug it into cosine to get the y okay and these um, sine and cosine methods are going to our functions are going to return a range of negative one to positive one Right? So we'll need to multiply that value times the radius of our circle, and then we can get you know, an x and a y value that's you know, out at that radius. Right? So uh, you know, again, we'll go over this last slide here. Imagine this is your iPhone screen, right? and you know, the 0, 0 is in the upper left corner here. Right? So we'll look at it, that's 0, 0 in the upper left corner. And what we want to do is we want to create... Um, a circle or we want to place objects around a, a circle from a center point here right so our center point is 187.5 and 33 333 y right um, or 187 x right um, and you know we might take a number like you know 5.2 plug it into sine and cosine and take our radius of 120 and we'll take you know sine 5.2 multiply by 120, the radius, add 187, and then we'd end up with this number. The math here is maybe actually not quite perfect. I just kind of mocked up those numbers, but that should be pretty close, right? Um, and then to cosine, we'd do the same thing. We'd take 5.2, plug it into cosine, multiply by 120, add 333, and come up with this number. And so essentially, like, the, the point right here on the screen would be 87x... 390y okay so let's try that now with xcode so i'm going to open up xcode here and make a brand new project and what i'll do is i'll call it um, circle math um, number one i don't know right and then i have a folder here um, and i'll save it to my folder and then what we'll do is we'll go to our view controller and you can arrange this however you want I'm just kind of doing it the fastest way possible you know you can make a class or write a couple functions to help you out um, I'm just doing it the fastest way possible just to illustrate the idea right so here we are in our view controller and um, uh, we're in viewed load and what I want to do is I, I need to find the center of the screen right so why don't we say you know let C equal view dot center Okay, so now this um, object here has a property x, which is the center of the screen, and y, which is the center of the screen, and that is the equivalent of the number right here, whatever that is, right? So that's our center point. And then, um, now what else do we need to know? Um, maybe we need to know the radius, right? I'll just call it r. Let's say we want to create a radius of 120, <clears throat> and we're probably going to need that to be a CG float because everything you know having to do with anything that displays on the screen is usually a CG float so we'll declare that as CG float and then now let's make um, let's place a couple circles around or uh, a couple you know UI views around the screen in a circle around this this center point right so we'll say for you know I in um, let's say we want to make 12 circles, right? Let's do eight circles, I don't know, right? And then what we'll do is we'll need to make a circle. First, we need to have a rectangle, right? So, you know, for every um, UI view we create, 
um, that we're going to place on the circle, you know, we'll have to define it, right? So we have to initialize it with a frame, right? So let's, um, I'm not going to worry about the X and Y location. I'll set those later. So <clears throat> this one will just be a CG rect. And we'll set it to X of 0, Y of 0, width of, I don't know, 40, and height of 40. And then... Uh, Let's make a view. Let's say let v for view equal um, ui view frame, and then our frame will be this rectangle that we defined. And then let's give v a um, a background color of ui color dot. Let's make it orange, right? There we go. That's a nice color. And uh, now we got to calculate the x and y value. Okay, so let's say let x equal, okay? And, you know, remember our circle is 2 pi. So what we'll do is we'll say cg float, oops, float. And we'll use m pi times 2, right, to get um, 2 pi. You probably could have like just fudged that by putting in 6.28, right? And then what we're going to do is we want to divide this by... Actually, you know what? This is going to be really long. Let's actually do this. Let's do let t equal this number, right? And then we'll calculate x later, right? So let's do uh, 2 pi, and then we need to, to divide by the number of circles. So essentially, you know, this is a complete circle, and I want to divide it into a number of slices or a number of stops around the outside, right? So let's divide by 8, right? So there we go. So now we got 8 parts. And then each of my, each of my views that I place are going to be placed at, at one of these stops. So what we'll do is we'll multiply by i right? So imagine that i is going to count 0 to 7, and I've divided a circle. This is a complete circle. I've divided it into sevenths, right? Seven parts. And then if I multiply times i, I'll have, you know, um, 0, 1, 2, you know, 0 sevenths, 1 seventh, 2 sevenths, 3 sevenths, right? All, until we get to 7 sevenths, right? Okay? So this is our, our value now, t, which is the you know, the value here, it's kind of going around the circle, right? And then um, now what we'll do is we'll calculate x, right? So if we saw our example here, you know, x is sine of t times the radius plus the center point, the x for the center point, right? And then that'll be our answer. So, um, so what we'll do is we'll say, um, what's it going to be? It's going to be sine of, and it, sine takes a double, right? Actually, I guess sine can take a CG float too. Let's, why don't we use that one, right? And then we'll say a T. Actually, I guess those are all the same. How do they do that? Um, anyway, so we'll do a sine of T times our radius, which we defined already up above here as R, right? And then we'll add in center X, Okay. So remember our C right here was our view center, right? We could have just done view.center.x, but I, I had saved it, right? And then let's calculate y. So we'll say y equals cosine of t times the radius plus c dot y. Okay? Um, and then uh, what, el what else do we need to do? Let's set um, v dot center. So this is our view. And I'm going to set it by the center. If we had used um, the x and y values here in the frame, all of our objects would be um, arranged around where the upper left corners were arranged around the circle. So, you know, just to draw that here, you know, imagine I drew a, a, a box, right? And what I want to do is I want to place the box here so the center point is, you know, right at this, this point right there. I don't want to place it like this, where the upper left corner is at on the circle. D does that make sense, right? So, um, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna uh, position this with the center, right? So we'll say center dot x equals x, and uh, 
v dot center dot y equals y. And then we need one more step in here. We need to um, add to subview. So we'll say view dot add subview for view v. Okay. So I think I got everything in there. Let's give it a quick try, right? Let's, oh wait, I, let's not test iPhone 7. Let's do iPhone 6s. I think I already have the simulator started for the 6s. Oh, there we go, right? So there's our views all the way around the circle, and we have eight of them, right? So anyway, so hopefully that's a, a quick um, example of how you can use circles to place things on the screen, and we can animate these too. Um, I'll do some examples of that, and, and maybe we'll save that for the next video. Thanks for watching.